you have the option to change how they appear in the BOM. When I click on the Bill of Materials icon, the Model Data tab is active. This tab matches the assembly browser and lists all of the components. If I click on the plus icon next to the subassemblies, you can see the individual parts are listed here as well. This display is useful for editing purposes, but doesn't actually show me what the bomb view is. To see what the bill of materials looks like, I need to select either the structured or parts only tabs. As a quick side note, if you have an iAssembly file, a new tab will appear that lets you create an iAssembly view. First, I'll look at the structured view, so I'll click on the structured tab. Note that the structured view is disabled by default, so I'll go to the toolbar, click on the View Options icon, and select Enable BOM View to update the list. A structured view displays all of the assembly components just as they appear in Inventor. In this example, you can see that only the top components are displayed, not the parts that make up the subassemblies. If you want the bomb to display all of the individual components in a structured view or an indented bomb, you'll first need to edit the properties. To do this, I'll go to the View Options again and select View Properties. In the Structured Properties dialog box, I'll select all levels. Leave the delimiter set to period and click OK. And I can now expand the subassemblies. You can see that the parts are numbered with the assembly number, followed by a period, and the component number. In this example, the components in the stapler holder subassembly are not actually pre-assembled. This means that I need the parts to show up in the bomb as line items and not as part of the given subassembly. I'll switch over to the Parts Only tab and enable the bomb. You can see that all of the parts are now listed, but not the subassemblies. Also note that an arrow appears next to the item icon letting me know which parts are subassembly components. In this situation, I want the staple top subassembly to appear as an assembly, but I want the stapler holder subassembly to appear as individual parts, not the assembly. To do this, I actually need to change the default bomb structure for the stapler holder so that the structured bomb displays the individual parts. I can make this change from the assembly's document settings. Since it's common to make changes to components to get the correct BOM information, Inventor makes it easy to open a component for editing. Simply go back to the Structured tab, locate the subassembly, like the stapler holder, right-click on the assembly icon, and click Open to open the assembly in a new window. Next, I'll go to the Tools tab, click on Document Settings, and switch over to the Bill of Materials tab. Here, I can specify what I want the default bomb structure to be. I'll set it to Phantom, which means that the assembly will be ignored in the bomb, but its components are listed. I'll return to the stapler assembly and open the bomb again. Now, the staple holder bottom and staple guide parts are listed as line items. Their assembly is hidden, and the parts have a blue arrow next to the icon to show they are part of an assembly in the model, while the top subassembly remains as an assembly.